Hello dear children, a very good morning to one and all. My dear children, we are teaching every day as online classes. Are you looking at the videos? Are you studying something? If there is any problem, please ask to us. We are starting for the fifth chapter that is temperature. In that we have finished heating and cooling of land and water, ranges of temperature, effects of greenhouse gases, ocean currents and now we are going to start that is the fourth part you can say of geography that is isotherms in that we are that is world mean annual temperature as well as thermometer. Just see this map it is about the World Mean Annual Temperature Map. The continents are shown. See the isotherms that is in the red lines. See the Celsius 0 degree, 20 degree, 25, 15, 10. And you see north, south, east, west directions are also shown to you. So just we will start with the explanation my dear children. Considering the temperatures of various places on the earth, maps of global temperature distribution are prepared. That is said we are considering the temperatures of various places on the earth, maps of global distribution are prepared. Figure that is 5.7 is drawn with the help of the isotherms. Now this figure which I showed you, these are drawn with the help of the isotherms. What are isotherms? Isotherms are the lines that connect places with the same temperature after avoiding the effect of height. Isotherms are the lines that are connecting the places with the same temperature after avoiding the effect of height. Or you can say the lines that are drawn on a map joining the places of equal temperature on the earth are called as isotherms. These lines generally appear parallel to the latitudes on a world map. That means it is said that isotherms generally appear parallel to the latitudes. Observe the isotherm of 25 degrees Celsius in the map. Now on the map you can see of the 25 degrees. Just see. You are shown 25. This line occupies area close to the equator. Now this 25 degrees is close to the equator. Can you see the center line equator? The shape of this line appears like an ellipse on the map. It is showing like ellipse on the map. This line or the shape of the line. The north-south spread of this ellipse is greater on the continents. The north-south is spreading. The ellipse is very greater as well as that is on the continents as compared to the oceans. The isotherm line occupies some parts of the continents of South America also, Africa, Asia and Australia also. A very limited portion of the Pacific Ocean is occupied by the isotherm. A very less place a portion is occupied by the Pacific Ocean, which is of the Pacific Ocean, which is occupied by the isotherm. You will find two isotherms with label of zero degree Celsius. Here on the map, if you see that mean annual temperature world map, that is, you can see zero degree Celsius twice. The zero degree isotherm from the southern hemisphere is largely straight. It is straight and is parallel to the line of the latitude. Comparatively. The line of the same value in the northern hemisphere deviates north as well as the south considerably. In the west, in the parts of the Pacific Ocean, it is fairly straight, but when it is entering the continent of the North, north America, it is turning somewhat to the no north. Then the line proceeds. The line is proceeding towards the eastwards. Within a very short distance after entering the Atlantic Ocean, it is turning towards the northeast. Now within a very short span of time, after entering the Atlantic Ocean, it is turning towards the northeast direction. 
and this part you will find all the isotherm lines turning towards the northeast and this diagram or this figure you will find that all the isotherm lines are moving towards the northeast why this is because of a warm ocean current which is located in this area further after entering eurasia or while moving eastwards it turns somewhat to the southeast and then still further in pacific ocean most of the isotherm lines appear moving eastwards now still when it is going further in the pacific ocean most of the isotherms are moving towards the eastwards as the straight lines the isotherms in the southern hemisphere are fairly parallel to the latitude lines now the isotherms in the south hemisphere are somewhat parallel from south pole to the tropic of capricorn the distance between these lines is also equal they are almost equal as the proportion of the land in the southern hemisphere is limited temperatures in these parts are largely influenced by the latitude now the temperatures are influenced by the latitude in the northern hemisphere the distance between these lines varies means they are different in this hemisphere the proportion of land is comparatively greater this affects the distribution of temperature this is affecting the temperature these effects are seen in the form of different variations that is in the distance between the isotherms and the curved nature of these lines now here it is can you tell what is the tube of the thermometer fixed on what substance is used in the thermo thermometer tube what do the figures on the scale indicate in which different units is the temperature measured what season does the temperature in the figure indicate thermometer now we are going to study about the thermometer beforehand we have studied the isotherms that means they drawn on a map joining the place of equal temperature are called as isotherms the isotherms in the southern hemisphere are fairly parallel to the latitudes and in the northern hemisphere the isotherm varies leading to the curved nature of these lines what is a thermometer Now, thermometer. Different types of thermometers are used for measuring the temperature of the air, as well as when you're sick, when you have fever, you take the thermometer to check the temperature of your body. Mercury or alcohol is used in the thermometers. On the top, that is silver part. You can see in that what is there? Mercury. The freezing point of mercury is minus thirty nine degrees Celsius, whereas that of alcohol is minus one hundred and thirty degree. Celsius, mercury is minus thirty nine, and when it is alcohol, it is minus hundred and thirty degrees Celsius. These materials are highly sensitive to the temperature variations. This is to the sensitive part which is touching to a body or anything. Therefore, variations in temperature for from minus thirty degrees to minus plus fifty five degrees Celsius can be easily observed with the help of these materials. Like the units of measuring temperature are degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. When you are measuring the temperature, it is measured in degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. As shown in the figure, these are expressed as degrees Celsius or fa degree Fahrenheit. The difference in daily temperature, that is maximum or minimum, can be observed with the help of a thermometer. Air temperature is measured in Celsius. So, my dear children, my dear children, just look at this thermometer. Just see this degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit. So, my dear children, just see the thermometer. It is shown in degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit. That is Celsius, Fahrenheit. There is a vacuum glass in between shown over here. Then there is a thermometer scale in between. That is a red color. Mercury or alcohol. Or there is a mount which is shown. So my dear children, you have to draw the figure in your notebook, as well as you have to read the chapter, learn it. As well as some worksheet will be given to you. You have to solve that worksheet in your notebook. If you have any problem, please, please let me know. So go through the top chapter. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. See you.